It is now time for us to learn about the inverse of the sine, cosine, and tangent functions. So if you watched our lesson on the sine, cosine, and tangent functions, then you'll remember that we learned that if we have an angle and a side length within a right angle triangle, then we can get the length of another side of the same triangle. But what if we had the value for two side lengths of the right triangle instead? Can we find the value of an angle? Well, let's try this example and see how we can go about this using the information that we have here. So how would we start this problem off? Well, we already know right off the bat that this problem involves the sine function since we're working with an opposite side length from the given angle and the hypotenuse. So let's plug these values into the formula to get this. And we can simplify this to get sine of x equals 1 over 3. Hmm. Now, is there anything else that we can do? Well, it turns out there is. When you want to find the x value in this situation, all you have to do is take the inverse sine of 1 over 3, and it'll be equal to x. Great, but how do you even compute the inverse of sine? Well, we can actually just use our calculator to calculate this, and what we would end up with is roughly 19.5 degrees. It's as easy as that. So you might be thinking, is there an inverse of cosine then? The answer is yes. So in this example, we are not looking to use the sine function. Instead, we're looking to use the cosine function, since if you memorized Sokotoa, then you would know that the ka here stands for cosine of x, which is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And as you can see in this example, we're dealing with a side adjacent to the angle and a hypotenuse. Great. So let's go ahead and plug in our values. We've got cosine of x, which is equal to 3 over 7. From here, all we need to do is get the inverse cosine of 3 over 7 to get this. Now we just punch that into our calculator to get x equals roughly 64.6 .6 degrees. And that's our value for x. Awesome. Oh, and by the way, if we wanted to find this angle here, all we would have to do is 180 minus 64.6 .6 minus 90, since we know that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and we'd get our answer as 25.4 degrees for this angle. Just remember that since we rounded the 64.6 .6 degrees, the angle here is going to be a rounded number as well. Great. Now, what function is left for us to try? It's the tangent function. And yes, we can take the inverse of that as well. Let's take a look at this example. So the following information we're provided with is the side opposite to the given angle and the side adjacent to the angle. Again, referring to Sokotoa, we can use the Toa and realize that the tangent function is the one that we want to use since it involves the opposite and adjacent sides in its formula. So let's plug in our values to get tangent of x equals 3 over 1. This just equals 3. Take the inverse tangent of 3 to get this. And calculating this will give us a final answer of x equals roughly 71.6 degrees. Awesome, it's as easy as that. So let's go over a quick recap of what we just learned. If we're provided with a side length and an angle, then we can choose the appropriate functions between sine, cosine, and tangent to find the other side length in question. But instead, if we are provided with two side lengths, then we can use the inverse of sine, cosine, and tangent in order to find the appropriate angle that we're interested in. All right, guys, so that's it for this lesson. Make sure you try some questions, and we will see you guys in the next one.